Okay, now I'm on my bead mat, so my beads won't roll away so much. <laughs> now, these head pins in particular were... Oh, in a bad way when I got them. So I just give them a little straighten out. I'm going to show this once again without all the talking quite so much. Every once in a while, you get an end cap where the hole isn't quite punched all the way through. An exacto, sorry, a craft knife, um, a straight pin, anything like that will help you push the hole through most of the time. I get asked all the time about <laughs> about my nails and how do I craft with my nails. I've said before I've I've literally had these nails <laughs> since I was in high school, and yes, they're my nails. So I I would be more lost without them most of the time. But, they can be a real pain in the hmm <laughs> when you're trying to pick up these little bitty seed beads. Or end caps for that matter. And yeah, sometimes I have to put my glasses on. Alright. You want to make sure that that second eye closes on the wire to wire, not on the wire to this eye pin. Because just setting yourself up. If it doesn't close all the way, that will just lead to your eye pin, your seed bead, and the junction that you've just created uh, possibly coming apart. Okay? Okay, now that we've got the cylinder sections done, I'm still still going to share that and the glass beaded sections done let's connect them a little bit alright now each section has a what should be a factory end although in this case it's not and a we made it end Now, I'm going to open one end, and I'm going to stick a glass bead. Then I'm going to shut it. Alright. There, we've connected one section. 
Alright, I'll show you again. I'm gonna open one end. Now, don't pull it open. Twist it open. Put another cylinder bead. And close it. Open it. Glass bead. Close it. Now when you close it, make sure that it closes. Alright, so we've got a half a bracelet already. Okay, I'm just going to continue on. Alright, now I always do five glass beads, four cylinder beads, five glass beads. You won't always need five glass beads. Now, FYI, I have a very small wrist, so... When I made these before, I have a... Okay, now in order to put the toggles on, I'm going to use two jump rings. This is just a, a various size um, jump ring that I got off of eBay, I think. Possibly an Amazon link. I'll try listing them below. Come in silver, gold, um, antique gold, copper, and I think black. Don't quote me on that. Then, I've got this um, collection of toggles. I did get these um, in a past review. I'll again try to put the link below. Let's see. Now, I love these leaf toggles, but the bracelet is already long enough. These are cute. These are cute. <laughs> okay. I got one. I'm getting two of these out because I'm sure I'll use two of them. And I don't want to have to dig through here again. Normally, I wouldn't leave um, things like this in the little baggie. But this case can be such a booger to open. Sometimes you'll open it and everything in there will go flying.
Alright. Put the glasses back on. Just helps to see a little bit. Alright. I'm going to grab the jump ring. The opening is up here at the top. <laughs> I'm going to grab the jump ring to the right of that opening. Sorry, I had to stretch. Takes two pair of potters. Alright, then I'm going to grab it on the left. I'm going to twist one hand towards myself and the other hand I'll push away from myself. Alright, so I opened the jump ring like that, not spreading it apart. The reason you do that, because jump rings are created in a spiral okay if you pull them apart you're damaging the integrity of the jump ring I don't know what it does to it but <laughs> it does alright so I'm gonna start with the bar. I don't know why I always start with the bar. Okay. Then I'm going to do the reverse. And close the jumper. Okay. Can you see that? That is one closed jumper. ring. Alright, now let's do it again. Grab it on the right. Grab it on the left. Twist. Put it through the eye pin. Put on the toggle. Grab on the left and repeat. Okay, that is literally all there is to it. Don't know why this one. It's because that one eye pin isn't closed all the way wasn't closed um, and wasn't open enough for that to come undone but it was open enough to catch that every time okay Now, this one, okay, this may actually be a faulty toggle. Because with that big a jump ring, it won't go through. So, it's a good thing to know. We shall grab a smaller jump ring. And we'll replace it. That's what I was telling you. You have to have the 
far end small enough that it will go through the toggle and this one won't it also won't let me grab the end there we 